Whoa, that's pretty cool, man. Space Invaders. <laughs> that's pretty cool. All right, buddy, what do we have today? We have Snap Circuits Jr. by Alenko. Alenko. It says build over 100 electronic projects. I don't know if it's with this one or if it's expandable. Two AA batteries required. All right, let's open it up. You can combine it and create with other snap circuit kits. Snap Circuits uses building blocks with snaps to assemble real electronic circuits. Each block has a function, a switch, a light, a battery, a different length wire block, and more. With easy to follow project manual, simply snap together to create working circuits. Looks like it gives us kind of a fancy little board of its own. Oh, everything comes in a nice plastic tray. So that's pretty cool. Music, I see. Alarm. Space War. There's all kinds of stuff going on. Looks like we have a motor. Nice. There's some different length wires. All right, are you ready to mess with this? Yep. All right, let's do it. Let's open up our manual. Oh, wow, look at There's a whole bunch of projects in here. Some basic troubleshooting, some do's and don'ts. Here's our parts list. Tells us what everything is. What do you think? We'll start with project number eight, something simple. Meet the music. Build the circuit shown and turn on the slide switch, S1. A tune plays for a short time and then stops. Okay, let's try it out. That is to start by getting some batteries in there. So go ahead and we'll put our, our four on there. There we go. That's what it is, that little number four. Okay. Let me pop that on there. Okay. And then we put our number two on top of that. There we go. Okay, so then music I see. So we want to get this blue box right there. And then we're going to go up and put it right in here. That snapped on there okay. There we go. So then it looks like you need another two to join that. To take apart. We already had a two apart here. Yeah, they're a little tough to take apart, but I think with some adult supervision, they're just fine. Okay. So then it looks like our speaker is standing up, and that is going to go right here. Our speaker. We are just trying to figure out their little system, and I think we have it figured out. Yeah, so we put a five across the top. You gotta look for that little number and that tells you how long that part is. Yeah, yeah and then just push that down. Okay. <clears throat> so it looks like we're gonna join a three here. Okay, so then it looks like it is calling for a whistle chip. So then we're going to look for S2 switch to go in there. I think you already had it out. That's like a momentary switch. Yeah. Okay. And then it looks like S1, and that's going to complete our circuit. Okay. No, nothing. The tune plays for a short time and then stops. So what are we missing? Oh, we forgot to complete the circuit, see? Mm -hmm. There's another number two that goes there. That's why it's really important to follow the schematic. Okay, let's do it. All right, do it. Oh! <laughs> That's pretty cool. All right. So, you could turn that off. Okay, and then you're going to push the S2 switch and see what happens. 
Okay, so we figured out what we had to do there. We had to leave S1 on, that completes a circuit. And if you push the momentary switch on S2. Yeah, if you let it go, it stops, right? Okay. Okay, so then we could tap on the whistle chip. So if we tap on that, or we clap near it, or blow on it, something will happen. Hmm? You just gotta touch it. <laughs> That's pretty cool. It's just like a motion sensitive switch. Okay, so that is project number eight. Spin the music. Use the preceding circuit, but replace the whistle chip with the motor, M1. Okay, positive side up or down. So there's our motor, right? So we're gonna pull out the whistle chip. Or, oh, we turned the switch off, that's why. We got excited, we turned our switch off. So you could actually spin it and see if it'll start. <laughs> That's pretty cool. All right. So project number 10, same project. Use either the preceding circuits, but replace the press switch with the photo resistor. After the start up tune finishes, the music continues if there is light on the photo resistor. Okay, so. If there's light, it has to Yeah, that looks like our photoresistor. That looks like that's it. Okay, so we're gonna replace the press switch. So we're gonna take that off. And we'll put that there. So it's light sensitive. So basically, if we shut the lights off. Whoa! Okay. The photo resistor is this one. That's your photo resistor. So that's your photo sensitive sensor. Okay. It's Oh, that shuts the music off, see? Yeah, so if there's no light, that'll actually shut the music off. So that's pretty cool. Ready? Go ahead and shut the light off. We'll try this again. We're just having fun. We're just experimenting. Whoop. Okay, so we have no light. Okay, now turn the lights on. I know you just came back over here. I just like making you run back and forth. Oh man, we have music again, it's amazing. I can't believe it. <laughs> All right, cool. So that's project number eight. So there's whistle music. Looks like there's a few things going on there. Okay, looks like there actually is a little lamp there with the whistle chip. Okay, so we'll figure that out. Okay, so let's go ahead and scratch off project number eight. And then we did a couple other little projects. Ta -da! Project number eight. Ta -da! Number nine. Number ten. Okay, so we're going to rearrange our schematic like so. We're going to take this off. One thing that I would like to try is the Space War one. I'm interested in The that. Space War one? Yeah, that looks like... Is it like... I don't know. You want to do it? Yeah, we'll Can you do it. let's rearrange it? So take this off. Okay. So we tried project number 16. Whistle Space War. Funky Whistle Space War. So let's see what happens. Pretty cool. Look. 
basically made a sound circuit and it does different things. That's pretty neat. Okay. So project 17. Use the preceding circuit but replace lamp L1 with the color LED D8 on top. The sound is a little bit different now. So there's going to be a color LED, which is that guy right there, this one. So you're going to take the lamp off, and that's going to give us some different sounds, I think. Put it over the whistle chip. See what we have going on. I don't see any color lights, but you know what? It's making a different sound, that's for sure. I wonder if we flip that thing around. What if we flip this guy around? Flip it. Wait, what? Just flip it around. 180 degrees. So we'll just pull oh, it off. That, that, that. I don't know if it makes a difference or not. You would think that that thing would light up. Try it now. Oh, there we go. It's polarity sensitive. That's pretty cool. So this is the basic snap circuit set. We weren't sure what we were going to get. But there is a whole bunch of projects in this book, which I think is pretty cool. Okay, so we did project 16. We did project 17, which is changing it with the color LED, right? Yeah. Let's see what project 18 is. Use the same circuit, but replace the color LED with the motor M1 on top and a fan. So we're gonna take that off. We ate a fan. Yeah, and there's a, you got fan blades. Okay, so we could do that. Okay, so the fan goes on the motor. Yeah, I would just be careful about it. Okay. Use the switches to change the sound. The fan spins on some sounds. Whoa, that's pretty cool, man. Space Invaders. Yeehaw. That's a blast. You push a button at the same time. See what happens. <laughs> That's pretty cool. It's only a Monday night. We're just having a blast at the kitchen table. That is super annoying. <laughs> okay. So, you want to see what else it does? Okay. Project 19. Use the preceding circuit, but replace the motor with the photoresistor. Vary the amount of light shining at the photoresistor to change the sound volume. So you're gonna do it with the photoresistor that we did before. Be careful not to pull your whistle chip off of there. Whistle chip? That's the oh. thing that's underneath. There we go. Okay, go ahead and put our thing thingy on there. It says it'll vary with sound. Yeah, so it makes some different sounds. That's pretty cool. Let me see if I can get more light at it. I'll put another phone over it. Look at that, more light, it makes more sound. Is that cool? That was where you push a button, anything? It does all sorts of things. That's pretty cool. Okay, last one. Light Whistle Space War. Use any project 16 to 18 circuits, but replace a slide switch with the photoresistor. Cover and uncover the photoresistor, or press S2 to change the sound. We have the general idea of that. I don't know if we really need to do that. What do you think, man? Is this a pretty cool little thing? Yeah. Okay, so we built Project 21, which is a siren. This is what Project 21 looks like with your speaker. Why don't you go ahead and turn it on, buddy, with the slide switch. There is our basic siren. Okay, so that's the start of 21. So, Project 22, we can make kind of like a machine gun sound, right? So they're calling this points B and C. So you're going to take your jumper wires over there that come with the set. You're going to join B to C. That's going to give us a different sound. Yep. 
Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, so let's do a fire engine. So now we're going to get rid of that. We're going to join B and A. Yeah, you already got the idea. Ooh, there's our fire engine. Yeehaw. Okay, so European siren. Remove A and B and add a connection between A and D. So now this is A and that's D. So yeah, connect to there, but then this guy goes to there. There's points A and D, and it'll show you how you get different sounds. All right, European siren. Okay, light siren changer. Use Project 21 circuit, but add the photoresistor between Y and C. Cover and uncover, cover and uncover the photoresistor to change the sound. So between Y, oh, you're gonna put something between Y and C. Okay, so you're gonna put your photoresistor in there. And depending on how much light there is, go ahead and turn it on with your slide switch. Cool. Go ahead and turn it on. Pretty cool. So it makes different sounds when you do that. I don't know what happens when you give it more light. Oh, nothing new there. Okay. So, light siren. Do, do, do. Replace between Z and B with the photoresistor. So we could actually take this off. Right? Take this part off and put your photoresistor there. And that way it only works with the light. Okay. So there's not quite enough light, so let's see what happens. Whoa, aliens! Whoa, aliens! Whoa. This is fun. Okay. Okay. All right, so that was the light siren. Okay, so now a softer siren. Use any of the preceding circuits, but replace the three snap between E and F with the D8. So, we want this color LED, right? And then I think that, yeah, so I think that that gets replaced here. So take that off and change that. And then that way that light is complete in the circuit. Okay, so let's see if we get a little light in there. So that's sound only. Aliens. Okay, turn that thing around. Let's see if we can get some light if we flip it around. Ta da! Okay. There we go. Now we have a little light, but it's a soft siren. Pretty cool. So we completed Project 21. What do you think, buddy? You like this toy? Yes. It's not really a toy. It's more of a experiment. So that was our thing, everybody. That's the Snap Circuits basic set. I was actually pretty impressed with how much there is to do with this. I wasn't quite sure. But it looks like there's a little bit more complicated stuff. You could actually make a symphony of sounds using parts as conductors. There's a light dimmer. There's some great looking projects that we can mess with all right snap circuits project number 36 we built the symphony project turn it on buddy let's see what we got oh yeah we just built the most annoying thing possible on a monday night high five Oh. oh, yeah. Pretty sure your sister's trying to sleep. 